prolific singer and songwriter known for influencing decades of folk music, including at the height of the genre, has died. Gordon Lightfoot was 84 years old. NBC's Chris Clackham takes a look at his life and his career. Gordon Lightfoot was known for his string of hits in the 1960s and 1970s that remain popular today. If You Could Read My Mind broke into the top 10 in 1971. That was followed by Sundown in 1974. Lightfoot's memorable wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald put to music the true story of the iron ore ship that sank on Lake Superior during a storm in November 1975. Lightfoot said he felt a kinship with relatives of the victims. And met with them periodically for years after the song's release. Gordon Lightfoot was born in Ontario, Canada in 1938 and started singing as a teenager in church choirs and coffee houses. He left for Los Angeles in the late 50s where he made a name for himself as a songwriter. But returned to Canada a few years later and began touring, performing live some of the more than 200 recordings of his 50 year career. His songs have been covered by singers as diverse as Elvis Presley, Bob Dylan, and Barbara Streisand. A father of six with four different mothers, Lightfoot survived years of drug abuse and alcoholism in the 1970s and 80s. Along with several Grammy nominations, Lightfoot was inducted into Canada's Songwriters Hall of Fame and was awarded Canada's highest civilian honor, the Companion of the Order of Canada. And once declared, in the midst of the madness of this world, music was his therapy. Lightfoot's career nearly came to an end twice after an abdominal aneurysm and coma in 2002 and a minor stroke in the middle of a performance in 2006, but made surprising comebacks both times and continued to tour well beyond another decade, singing songs he wrote that even other artists called their favorites. Chris Clackham, NBC News. Just bopping to that music yes. throughout the package. A lot of it very familiar. Yeah.